Hello there and welcome back. If you take a look around, the setting probably looks a little bit different this week. It is 5.42 a.m. on a Monday morning. Jonathan took off of work. Got the kiddos in the back there. Arlo is not a morning person and Cleo is very worried about what is happening, but we are, what are we? Cottage Cottage Bound. Cottage Bound. Today is going to be a big day on our family's journey and we will give you more updates when the sun is out and you can actually see my face. There's an ugly bear. Hey! There it is for the last time. I know that we told you that this week's video was going to be an update on our chicken coop, and that is coming, I promise. But things took a little bit of a detour this week. We found ourselves back at one of our favorite places, our family cottage up on Pence Creek. A couple of months back, I brought you along for our Father's Day weekend at the cottage. I told you about how special and precious this place is in all of our hearts, and I told you that in coming months we were going to be tearing down the cottage to make way for a brand new build. Demo day here at Lazy Acres. Thank you, Lord, for the great, great memories that we have had here. The new journey begins! Here we go! There are a lot of moving pieces that are going to be settling into place in the next couple of weeks. A well is going to be drilled, a septic tank system is going to be installed, and then, of course, a new cottage is going to be built. But before you can do any of that, you have to get rid of the old. You have to knock it down. A little over a week ago, Dad and Tara were notified that our cottage was going to be demolished and taken to the ground today, which is Monday, April 8th. Mondays are typically not a great day for my family. Number one, Jonathan obviously works, and number two, the kids and I have our homeschool co-op, but the more we thought about it, we knew that we absolutely had to be here today. We had to see this place from the old, which was Lazy Acres, to the new, which is Triple Pine on Pens. Jonathan's dad has been an instrumental and key piece in so much of our lives over the past 15 years. Nothing but a constant support and help. He has been with us and given us so much of his own time in three of our own homes now. We knew that there was no other place that we would want to spend this day. We needed to be here, not only for him and for Tara, but for the future of our family. I'm sure you can see that there is a lot going on behind me. Not only do we have an active excavator back there that has already leveled the cottage and is now working to put all of the debris into dumpsters, but we have four dogs roaming, four children roaming, and in addition to everything that is behind me, in front of me, if you cannot hear it, I have a raging creek, which is about as swollen as I have ever seen it because the last week in Pennsylvania has essentially been nothing but rain, rain, rain. I am not a big believer in coincidences. I feel like everything is ordained and orchestrated and happens for a reason. I really don't find it at all surprising that the day that our cottage is being demolished is also the day of something that I have been really excited about for a long time, and that is the upcoming solar eclipse. What do you see, buddy? Look up. What do you see? Moon. <gasps> do you see the moon? See the moon. Oh, it's so cool! Cleo's like, 
I need glasses. I don't see anything. Unfortunately, it is very cloudy and hazy right now, so I'm not sure what our show is going to be like, but there's still plenty of time for the clouds to roll away, so fingers crossed that we're going to get a good show here today. I got some pretty cool footage of it, too. Okay, thank you. Right now. What you doing there? Staring at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look like a liar right now because it's cloudy again. We were all like, oh dang, we're not gonna be able to see anything. But right when the eclipse started... It opened up. Yeah, it did. It was awesome. The oh, clouds moved over. Yeah, there is a break. You can see it now. And it's so cool. It looks like <laughs> a little Pac-Man. The kids were excited. We were all excited. I bet it's like it a third feels, or a quarter. Feels like the perfect. Covered right now perfect day. So much going on. Such a good day for the family. Being here feels super fitting. There are planetary happenings today and there is just a lot of heart and soul filling happening all around us. Oh, that's a perfect shirt for today, isn't it? Oakley's like, let me check it out. I'm gonna eat that leaf. Say, Oakley bear. <laughs> so it was a pretty eventful day. In order to be here for the start of excavation and to get a couple of remaining things out of the cottage, we did have an early start to the day. Keith, the excavator, was here shortly after we arrived. And I would say within about an hour, he had the entire old place leveled. His level of skill and precision was really astounding. I didn't know that so much thought went into tearing something down. I thought you'd just come in and you'd just plow the whole thing down and, and then clean up the mess afterwards. But he was so accurate and so detailed in what he separated and what pile went where. So it was really cool to watch him. Don't you like your baby girl? See, I'm so nervous. Arlo, where's the cottage going? <laughs> As you can imagine, the kids, especially the boys, were enamored with everything that was going on there. And now we are in the process of getting things cleaned up and taken away. At the moment of total eclipse, right here this moment is the ending of Lazy Acres and the beginning of Triple Pine on Pegs. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Two. New beginning. New beginnings and many, many, many years and generations to come Woo. to the legacy property here. Cheers! 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 It's a bittersweet day for sure because obviously this old building, even though it was a bit of a shack, it housed a lot of really fond memories for our family. A lot of moments and experiences that we had together. We realized that this building is never going to come back. This building is now gone. It's a part of our past. A little sad too. It's all right. Bad boys too. Yeah. Bittersweet, right? Mm -hmm. On to new things. We have so much to look forward to in the new cottage. The new cottage is going to be more spacious. It's going to be a lot safer. Today, during teardown, we could smell and see the amount of mold and must and just filth that this old cottage housed. And we realized that that probably wasn't the safest thing for us and for our kids to be living in. So we're excited for a clean and a safe and a spacious place that we can gather for years to come and that future generations of our family can enjoy as well. I know we've said it before, but we will say it again. Dad and Tara, thank you so very much for all of the planning and all of the sacrifice and just everything that you guys are putting into this place. This cottage has been special to us for the past 15 years, even in its dilapidated form. Truly, we are just so excited and so looking forward to everything that is to come with the new build. Annie, how would you describe today in one word? Crazy. 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 Savannah, what would be one word that you would use to describe the day? Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. All right, Johnny. I was thinking like monumental, but yeah. I don't know if that's. No, really I like, right. I okay. like that. That's a good word. All right. Monumental. We'll monumental. I approve. You're, you're a man of many words, but it has to be one word. Fulfilling. Nice. I like that one. Clark, one word to describe the day. Fun. Fun? Amazing. Amazing.
Oh, that's sweet. I think that's what your mommy said. Did you say amazing? Oh, that's cute. Dad and Tara, your answers have to be different. One word to describe the day. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I love it. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that one too. I don't hear the excavator right now, so I'm thinking maybe there is a break or maybe there is a transition period going on. I think the first dumpster is full. But I'm gonna wrap up here and get back to the crew. The plan for the rest of the day for us is to enjoy a yummy lunch cooked over the fire. We're gonna be enjoying barbecue chicken, which is something that Jonathan's grandfather used to make for us all the time when we were in the mountains. Unfortunately, he is no longer with us, but enjoying that meal together as a family on this monumental day, this day when not only is there so much going on here, but just planetary happenings with the eclipse. It all feels so divine. I can't think of a better way to spend this day. Do you approve of your own cooking? Yeah. Thank you so much for coming along to the cottage with us for this unexpected bonus video. As things happen in coming weeks and months, we will of course bring you along for the ride here. We're excited to not only show you what is happening and transforming here at this special place for our family, but also for you to continue to show up for the changes that are happening for us back at home. Thank you for being a part of the Follow the Whisper family. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your views. Thank you for your continued comments. And we will see you next time for an update on the chicken coop. It is about 11.15 right now. Hi, Oakley Bear. We have a stowaway. I've got hair. Say, one door closes ah. and the next opens. Oh, my. Sorry, no, it's not. Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Yay! Yay. Help! 5.44 a.m. It's 5.42. Oh, sorry. No. Let me correct that. Harlow, one word. I know, that's hard for you. Eclipse lights. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs>